Baseball News Club highlights from Sunday, August 9th. And boy, there was a bunch of highlights yesterday. Starting with the Acuna home run derby, the Braves took a doubleheader from Philadelphia. And Acuna was just lighting up the board. Here's game two, 377-foot shot. They look like the same home run. And then again, 369. Then in New York, Jacob DeGrom got his second win of the year. And he pitched a pretty good performance. But look at this. His fastball velocity has went up this year. That's really weird, but he's just doing what he's been doing the last couple of years, just dominating on the mound. He is, if not the best pitcher in baseball, go Mets. And then Michael Perez, walk-off single against the Yankees. Yankees uh, were not doing too well in the series. Three out of four taken from them by Tampa Bay. And then in Boston, Mitch Moreland hit two HRs. Here's his first home run, 414 feet. And then bottom of the ninth, walk-off. Gadoosh! Crushes a 384-foot shot. Boston wins. Boston. And then in Milwaukee. Gadoosh. Christian Yelich crushes one off the scoreboard. Milwaukee is going to need this guy to get hot if they're going to be in contention. Great home run. And then in Texas, the Jose Canseco award goes to Joe Adele. Ball goes in and out of the glove. That's a four base error. They did not count it as a home run. Craziest play you're ever going to see. But look at that. Biscuit in the basket. Flips out of the glove. Goes over the wall. This is how he feels about it. But this is how the pitcher feels about it. You're like, you got to be kidding me. And then in L.A., A.J. Pollock. Look at that. He looks like he walks. He's like, oh, I didn't walk. It looked like a ball. And then the very next pitch, boom. Oh, well, I'll just take a three-run blast then. How's that? And then Mookie, boom, put San Francisco out of it with another three-run blast. Just taking it to San Francisco. And then Machado crushes a 417-foot shot. And then Tati says, all right, you're going to do it. I'm going to do it. How about 418 upper deck? And then Manny Machado again. Boom, his second home run of the day. San Diego absolutely just pummeled Arizona. Again, San Diego on top. And by far game of the day, Houston at Oakland, Matt Olson crushes a 418-foot shot. Then in the fifth inning, Ramon Lariano gets hit by pitch. No big deal, no warnings. Here it is again. Everybody hates on Houston this year because they are cheaters. And Lorena gets hit again in the bottom of seventh. This time, he doesn't take it lightly. He's like, hey, hey, you know, throw the ball. And he's talking to the coaches on the Houston bench. I think this is one of the Houston bench coaches talking trash. And just like Amar Garrett from Cincinnati, he's going to take on the whole team. So here it is again. He's like, all right, come on, bring it on. Starts running at him. He gets taken down right away. And then the teams empty the benches. Now, this is bad news because this is an extremely strict rule with Major League Baseball this year because of coronavirus, no fights, but it doesn't matter. Both teams separated, no punches thrown. You know what they say, cheaters never prosper. We'll see how the fines and the suspensions pan out, but Houston is 6-9, three games under 500. Thanks for watching Baseball News Club.